Making a website using NIM. So this is video zero of the series because I'm just going to do a quick intro of what I plan on doing with the series as a whole so that you can jump around as you wish. Um, this series will be at least nine episodes, probably more, but at least nine. Um, those are the ones that I've planned out so far. Uh, very specifically, we're going to be covering first how to simply set up a website, a quick and easy small site. And then we're going to start expanding our knowledge into other ways to extend your website. And towards the end, we'll start talking about scaling. How can we get this to handle a large volume of web requests? And how can we get this to work well with a team of people working on the website, essentially splitting the website into different knowledge domains? Uh, very specifically, this series will be using the library called Jester as the controller for the website. That'll be the very next video. Uh, we're going to be using Mustachu as a templating engine for the views of the website. And we'll be using MongoPool, uh, which is a MongoDB driver scaled for pooled applications, such as a web server, uh, to do the database backend, although you certainly can use uh, a SQL-based da uh, database as well. In fact, when I introduce these concepts, I won't just stick with Mustachu for the templating engine. I'll show you actually other methods of doing it too and hit up the pros and cons of each method. But then for the rest of the series, I'll be sticking with Mustachu. What I won't be covering in this series is I won't be covering single page apps, although NIM does support that because NIM, of course, can compile to JavaScript. And in fact, the most common one used is something called Carex. I'll also not be covering how to write an API, uh, such as a RESTful API, uh, but it's not that much, if you at least look at the next course, it's not that much of a stretch, and there's some good sites out on the internet that'll explain how to do that as well. But it is not part of this series. Now, to make this whole series kind of come together, I'm actually going to build a website. Um, it's I don't actually have any uh, grand plans for this website, so feel free to steal the code and make your own website that does the same thing. <laughs> it's okay. Um, I'm going to make a website that handles virtual book clubs. For those not familiar with book clubs, it's where people get together and they read a common book and then they kind of discuss it and maybe even have a, a conference or a talk with the author if they can pull it off. Um, so essentially this website's going to allow people to log in and create an account, uh, set up a virtual book club if they want to run one um, or allow other people to join that book club add and remove book references so they're all reading the same book for any one book club have a calendar so you can schedule events and we'll also have a forum so that people can talk about the book and discuss it openly in this forum so there is in fact one could say five knowledge domains that this website will have to deal with right off the bat we're not going to get into really exhaustive detail for this website. The idea is to demonstrate a way that it could be done. Like everything in programming, there's many ways to do the same thing. So this series of videos will very much be concentrating on one way to make everything work. So let's get started with Jester. 